Good morning. Good morning. I thought it feels as hard as this table right now. I bet it does. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm hanging in there. I'm counting it down. <laughs> We're officially at how many weeks? Less than six weeks to go. We're like five weeks and four days, three days right now. But what's your number right now? I'm at 30 weeks and three days. Oh, so it's 30 exactly. Okay. Yep. I'll be 31 on Saturday. Wow. That's good though. I'm proud of you. You've made it further, honestly, than I was worried about. You know what I Me mean? Me too. My like goal, I didn't think you were gonna hit 30. I almost. told Caleb. I said my goal is to hit 30 weeks, and then after that, I mean, obviously it's always been in the Lord's hands, but I put it in the Lord's hands at 30 weeks because, like, I feel like you. I don't know. I just hear it feel like twins. Like I feel like they come so early, and I've been seeing all these people having their babies at like 24 weeks, 28 weeks. But, but she went to the doctor today and tell them what they wrote you a note for. I am officially done with work today. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm supposed to be going in at 12, but my doctor was like, um, you're done. <laughs> so go ahead and stop by your office, give them this, and go home and be done. So I'm going to go to work, talk to them. I feel bad not working at least half the day, but then again, if my doctor's like, you need to be done, I mean, it literally on the note. I sent it to my mom. It was like, well, yeah. I was planning to talk to him and like, you were gonna work the week out i was gonna work the week out because i was like i only have work today and like thursday because tomorrow i have another doctor appointment and i was like i only got two days left so might as well just work it and he was like yeah i know you're going out today and i figured he meant like i'll give you the note today no mm -hmm. he like meant <laughs> it's like effective today <laughs> you're good yeah so due to high risk or whatever but yeah so i'm done with work Babies were super active on ultrasound today, like, I mean, moving. We got a really good side profile. B, A was, she was like upside down. I don't know what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but they flip all the time. And last night, I know she flipped last night because I could feel it like, really? like, it felt like a wave going on in my stomach. And then today she was upside down. So it had to be her rolling She had over. to flip. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we are literally we went from like a 10 week countdown like an oil pregnancy to five weeks like <laughs> how does that even happen i don't know but, but we were talking yeah. kayla wants to go buy some preemie clothes because if they're coming a month early which 36 weeks is a month early mm -hmm. compared to a normal full-time pregnancy like aspen was like two days before her due date when she came yeah so they're gonna be a month early i know they're gonna be small they're not gonna fit in newborn stuff probably probably not we got a good little start with preemie diapers but we need way more we need more preemie clothes like we have hardly no preemie clothes we have like a good little handful but like we need more so i tell mama that in the next like few weeks i want me and her to go take a day mm -hmm. and we can go out to like some of the consignment shops because i don't really want to buy new for preemie because they're only going to be uh, it's going to well in it for maybe a month or two that's the goal i need to make sure in the next few weeks, we're going to go get all their all Aspen's newborn clothes, bring them over, wash them again because they've been in storage, mm -hmm. get the nursery completed, hopefully this weekend or next weekend, within the next couple weeks. I'm going to come over and help you. I already told you I would. Yeah, and I just want to get it all, like, organized and put together and then, like, make a checklist of things I need to buy. I need to make sure all my pump parts are still working. Like, just things that I know, like, when I come home, I don't want to have to, like, order because, mm -hmm. like, my life's already going to be so crazy. Also, I want to make like freezer meals, like maybe the two weeks before, if they come at 36 weeks. Yeah. I would like to start around like a week or two before making freezer meals. So then in the morning, I can just like dump the crock pot, like dump it in the crock pot and it's ready to go for the mm -hmm. day. Like already seasoned and buttered and everything. So yeah. I'm feeling nesting is like starting. It's just like, I'm so tired and out of breath. Like I'm struggling to nest. So well, thankfully- I told you I'm gonna help. Well, now I feel more relieved because now we can actually go over to my house. It's not like, okay, I only got this day, but I can't do this day because I got to go to this place for a doctor's appointment. Now mm -hmm. I got the whole week and weekend to really take our time and just get it right. Mm -hmm. So there's your long update. Hey. Hey, mama. What are you doing? She is pulling up on everything, you guys. She'll pull up on you. Everything. See, I bumped my noggin. I got red spot on my noggin now. Because I'm just so busy. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You mad won't give you the camera? Look, she got one sock on, one sock off. We're just a hot mess this morning. Are we a hot, 
Are we a hot See, mess? Let go of me. Watch me stand. I'm scared to. Yeah. Let's let go. Yeah, I don't think she's help. ready. She'll let go of you. Just give her a second. Hold I was about to say, I don't think she's ready yet. When she lets go, she'll let go. And she stand for a minute, right? More like a second. <laughs> More like a second. You're right. <laughs> She's still holding on to my finger like really tight. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Wait, Herma's just standing so pretty. Look, she's going to sit down. <laughs> That's okay. So before long, you'll be asking me to sit down. And guys, she sit down, officially sit down. crawls like a normal person now. I know she gets on her knees and everything. Don't you Aspen. It's like one day it just like... She just started doing it. Yeah. She like will still slither is what I call it. Yeah. She'll still slither but she gets on her knees really like, good. If she's on car me, she is like, I guess she's realized how fast she could be on like her knees. Mm -hmm. And she is gone. Yeah, like, she is. Fast. She is quick. You got to watch her for sure. Her fast baby. Okay, we are out of the house. Aspen and Kayla have left. Um, Kayla did go to work today. She gave her note to them and said, my last day guys and they told her don't worry about working out today it wasn't a big deal they are just proud she made it as long as she did um, they had already speculated she would be going out of work anyway so all is good um, but we're off to hockey we've not done this in two weeks yeah at least so we have hockey today Aiden's excited he gets to try out his new stick so he's super excited about that and we got like 38 miles to empty so we have to go get gas I know I'm going really fast but that's because if we don't hear him hit the road, we're gonna be late. So, we'll see you there. practice good monster sticks good mm -hmm. okay Aiden said that when he first got on the ice that his hips started hurting and he was carrying his bag today and he goes gosh it's heavy I said yeah you haven't been on the ice in two weeks what'd you expect right bag was gonna be heavy hips are gonna hurt you're probably gonna be sore tomorrow because you know you hadn't done it so long we didn't even do like a free skate or a stick and puck or nothing yeah but how was it though good Feel good to be this back on the ice? So good. Oh yeah, okay. So Aiden used his brand new stick, his Proto R, and he said it was like amazing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Well good. Glad you had a good time. Alright, we are home and I ordered a new vacuum cleaner. I did not tell you guys what happened, but I was getting ready to vacuum like the other night and I get the vacuum out and I turned on and the lights kept going on, then they would go off. They go on, go off. I was like, what is wrong with this vacuum? I look at the bottom and the little there's a little piece of like piping it had cracked and separated so no more suction could happen and the suction is what makes the light come on and everything so i'm like oh my gosh you guys i cannot live without a vacuum cleaner i have to have one i didn't wait to do a collab with anybody i just bought one that i saw on tiktok that was supposed to be a really good one a lot of people have given it really good reviews yes okay so I was like, this one has really good reviews. A lot of people have, like over 6,000 have been ordered on Amazon. And I don't know, it like a good one from the videos I saw. So this is the one I got. And I think it's pronounced Homika. I hope that is correct. I'm not sure if it is. I don't even know what color I bought. I'm gonna be honest, I just picked one and bought it. I feel like I bought the black, black one. I'm not sure though. Cause they had like, they had pink. And yeah, part of me wanted the pink one cause I love pink, but I was like, no, I'm just going to get something that will be more aesthetically pleasing. But anyway, so we're going to open it together. So when you open it up, it has like all the instructions and stuff on the top. And we're about to find out what color I ordered. Oh, I ordered black. Okay, so the colors, I'll show you real quick. Let me do this. That's the colors it comes in. So you got the pink. The second is it comes in pink, white, a navy, black, and purple. And I got the black one. 
couldn't remember. But you know what's funny is like the white one that they have marked on the box, it wasn't available when I bought mine. It wasn't even an option. So I'm not really sure what the deal with that is. Comes with that. All the little attachments and stuff. I'm mainly opening it right now because I need to charge the battery. I'm just gonna take everything out. So it does come with some attachments, which is nice. That's the cord. This is the piece that broke, okay, on mine. I'll show you. And I guess, you know, just over time it can happen and it did on mine. But this pipe right here snapped right in half. I guess just from doing this so much. But anyway, that's about the size of my old vacuum. But everybody said the suction on this is like crazily good. I don't know if it is or not. It comes with a little brush attachment. Let's see. And then we have the base. And, okay, that must be a thing to hang on the wall to hang it, and it comes with a filter. I wonder if it comes with an extra filter, or is this the only filter it came with? Um, I know my last vacuum came with actually a second filter, which was nice, and I could switch out. And I did. I had just switched out my filter, and it broke. It's okay. Um, but we're going to open up everything. I'm going to try to go ahead and get it charging. So I guess this is the battery pack. Give me a second. Okay, it's together. This is it. And I figured out where to charge it. Battery pack goes down there. I put the filter in here. It claims in the book this comes off like the top. I just don't see how it would considering it's like got a computer thing on the top, like a screen. How does that come off? I need to watch the video because I am not trying to break it. But um, yeah, that's it. You push a button here to turn it on, turn it off. And I'm not sure what that is for. I need to just figure it out. But I like it so far, and I do like how it tells you how much battery's left, how much charge it's got. So yeah, we're gonna let it see here. We're gonna let it charge, and hopefully I can use it later. So we're gonna eat real quick, and then I think we're gonna start taking down Christmas. Also, Bradley has to film a video, and I think I'm gonna help her with that, so it'll go a little bit quicker for her, and um, it'll be a whole lot easier if I help her film it. Then it won't be as much editing for her, and then we're gonna try to start taking down. We are getting set up with all her stuff here and here and everywhere. So as soon as we get it set up, we can show it. You got that for Christmas? No, I'm put that on Oh, okay, sorry. All right, she's gonna change clothes and we're gonna start filming. So I'm gonna be like real comfy and cozy in my blanket. It is freezing in her room and honestly, I could not tell you why. I just told her, I said, why did we just go from my room to your room and it's like, 10 degrees colder. I'm not even kidding. A little chilly in here, but that's okay. We're going to film this video. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And then we were going to try to start on some decorations tonight. Doubt I'll get to the upstairs tonight. I'm going to try to focus mainly downstairs, not necessarily the Christmas tree. Uh, I'm not taking that down tonight, but I would like to get most of the other stuff taken down and at least sat in the kitchen or the dining room and put on the table. So then when I bring the boxes in, I could just pack them up and they're ready to go. Okay. Are you ready? Tomorrow. No, we're gonna start downstairs. We gotta do the upstairs tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot, a lot more than you realize. It takes a lot to still take it down, and all the trees. Why are we doing it tonight at 11 o'clock at night? It's not 11. It's only 9. It's 10 o'clock actually. Not yet. Almost. It's like 9:30. Just finished up. How you think it went? Good. A lot of stuff, right? Yep. She still has a lot of stuff to put up, like put away, away. I have my Christmas stuff up and put this on. Right there in that corner. Yeah, I agree. We need to the really organize this room. So I know, he's so pretty. Chris got her that for Christmas if you didn't see her vlog. So cute. I remember we like literally were walking in the mall and I was like, there's a store with like a ton of them. And like different colors, sizes, huge bears. Gigantic bears. And I was like, I had seen them before because I've shown them to you before. Mm -hmm. I think I showed them to you like last Valentine's or something. I was like, mom, these are cute. And um, we were walking through the mall and I saw it and I was like, Chris, look at the bears. <laughs> I was like, how cute are they? I was like, I've wanted them for the longest time. I was like, but my mom's always been like, oh, well, maybe you'll get it one day. <laughs> and so um, he was like, yeah, they are cute. And I was not expecting to get that at all because they're expensive. They can be, you're right. They're not cheap. Mm -hmm. So I was like, not expecting it at all. And yeah, it was cute. It is cute. It was sweet. It's going to look really good up there on my dresser. Mm-hmm, it will. We're not doing Christmas tonight. We lied. <laughs> <laughs> we're too lazy for all that. <laughs> we decided we're going to go spend our night late at the bed. I'm going to play on the iPad. And I'm going to play the Switch. And we're going to spend our night having a great old time in bed. 
But tomorrow, tomorrow, we say we are going to. We are. We're gonna clean the downstairs. Like Christmas. Yeah, and then take all the stuff out my room. I'm gonna. And your room's a hot mess. Like we need to take everything out, and start over. Like it's so bad. I'm gonna clean the cups and stuff out. Wipe down the table. I'm gonna take my flowers. Christopher got me. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of flaking. <gasps> um, they just went everywhere. I'm gonna go throw them away. She did save two of them. I told him he's gotta give me more. <laughs> what did he say? He told me no. <gasps> I'm what? He, to me he no. said no. <laughs> no. I told him my flowers are dying. Isn't that sad? He was yeah, it's sad. I said, oh, good. I gotta get more. That's where. No, I put my um bear up there. Once I take the Christmas up there, and I'm gonna clean that off. I'm gonna change my. Bedding tomorrow because it's rough. I'm gonna we need my, to wash your sheets. Yeah, I'm gonna put my blanket on the bed. Yes, after we wash your sheets after and we stuff. Wash my sheets, yeah, I'm gonna put the blanket on the bed. Your comforter might need washing too if it's real wrinkled. We need to open it and see okay. how I'm it looks. I'm gonna clean this out because it's a hot mess. Oh, it is. Your closet probably get rid yeah. of stuff you don't wear. I'm gonna clean my closet out. I'm gonna clean under there out. Vacuum dust. <sighs> I'm already tired just thinking about it. But we don't have Aspen tomorrow, so yes, we should be able is. to get it. We do have Aspen tomorrow. <gasps> what time do we have her tomorrow? Not until later. Are you sure? I don't think so. It's like, no, she told me, I thought she told me that she didn't have her appointment until like 1. Oh, so if we get up in the morning, we get a lot done in the morning. Right. We need to start with the well, living room. Because she's she a woman, so you can sleep in. We need to call real quick before she goes to bed. She's probably already in bed, Mom. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, my gosh. I don't know then. I don't then. know what I'm setting my alarm for then. I don't either. Here's what I say. We start with downstairs if Aspen's coming later. Then while she's downstairs napping, we'd be upstairs getting it done. Sound good? Yeah. All right, guys. We're ending this vlog today. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in our next vlog. Hopefully taking down Christmas stuff.